Hi, welcome to my what I eat in a day video. I'm trying to have days where I, since I'm transitioning to a vegan or plant-based diet and I'm going really slowly with it, um, sometimes I will do like a single day where I eat purely like vegan and plant-based and yeah, so that, today is one of those days and so for my breakfast, it's a pretty simple breakfast, um, basically just oatmeal, so usually I like to put apples or bananas in my oatmeal, and so today I put apples, as you can see, just cut some of that up, and I just use quick, what is it, like quick cooking oatmeal, um, it's easy, so yeah, just pour some of that in, and I like to add peanut butter, or almond butter so today I added peanut butter and this peanut butter I didn't buy so it's kind of like one of those sugary processed peanut butters which I don't really like to use um, but it's just what we had in the house so I put that in because I usually like to get like, just like peanut butter that's just peanuts and maybe some sea salt but yeah so that actually makes it sweeter the fact that I'm using this peanut butter um, I usually don't really add any sweetener, um, but especially today since that peanut butter was sh sugary. So anyway, um, if you saw, I added some ground flax seeds and some chia seeds just to give it like more nutritional value. And for my liquid, I just basically put hot water and it leave it for a couple minutes and just add as much as I need to get it to like the consistency that I like, which is what you'll be seeing on the screen um yeah it doesn't look great but it tastes really good so that was just my breakfast so for lunch i just made a sandwich um a mushroom based sandwich so it was really good basically i just took some portobello mushrooms slice them up and then cook it in some oil and i believe that the spices i added were just like a little bit of salt black pepper paprika garlic powder and maybe onion powder um yeah and i just cooked those so they get a little cooked obviously and soft but not too soft i want them to still have some bite and then i toast some sourdough bread and used hummus just like plain hummus this one had sesame seeds which was good but otherwise it was just like a traditionally flavored regular hummus and use that as my spread And then I tried out sprinkling some nutritional yeast onto the mushrooms. Um, just I really like the flavor of nutritional yeast and of course I also like the benefits of it so I try to add it like wherever I can. Um, yeah so it, it tasted really good on here and then I just had some added some tomatoes and the tomatoes I kind of salted and peppered to enhance the flavor whatever i don't know um <laughs> and then some thinly sliced white onion and i cut some yellow bell pepper which i'll add later and then of course gotta add avocado i love av adding avocado to basically anything um yeah And then I had some cilantro, so I just sprinkled a little bit of cilantro, and then my greens are just um, 
spinach and arugula mixture so yeah and that's the completed sandwich like i said it was super good it was like way better than i even anticipated i just had it with some sparkling water and then later in the day i had this little snack of some banana bread that i had made a few days ago and so yeah and then for dinner so my dinner main part of it was just like sauteed veggies and I sauteed them in like kind of trying to mimic like if I was making ground beef like seasoning it the same way um specifically like in a taco seasoning because I mean I just typically cook like with Mexican flavors and spices on my meat so yeah basically you just see me cutting up the different vegetables I have I had on hand and sauteing them so I had like cauliflower broccoli bell pepper a little piece of um, zucchini some garlic for flavor and I just saute those with um, like garlic powder cumin chili pepper salt regular pepper onion powder yeah then I made some rice usually I have like red rice on hand so I just happened to make it and it's pretty simple to make um, you just like saute the rice until it gets a little bit of color with some garlic and oil and I'm using basmati rice here so yeah and then I, I usually previously would cook it with um, chicken bouillon but I recently switched to this vegetarian bouillon and it still tastes really good so yeah you just I like to cook that until it gets soft and fluffy basically here I'm because my idea was to make in frijoladas it's called it's basically just like watery refried beans with tortillas and I had made the veggies as like a topping to go with it because I wanted it to be more filling so I had some beans that I cooked during the week and those are really easy to cook I just put them in a crock pot with like a little bit of salt and garlic and onion and let them cook for the whole day and I keep those on hand so I'm just reheating them refrying them and smushing them until they're the consistency that I like for in frijoladas they usually are pretty watery, liquidy. Um, yeah, and then as you can see, I added nutritional yeast because I thought it might add a nice flavor, but honestly, I didn't even really taste it. So, yeah, then for the and frijoladas, you just warm up the tortilla. Usually, I mean, I, in my experience, it's been it's made with corn tortillas, and um, usually people also make it like when they make it, they flash fry the tortilla, but I. Lately, I haven't really been doing that when I'm making frijoladas because I'm trying to be a little healthier. So I just warm them up on the comal and then put them in the beans. Yeah, as you can see, I just topped it with the veggie mixture and served it with some shredded cabbage and an avocado. And yeah, it was really good. I've been drinking this lately, it's just a nettle and oat straw infusion tea and it's really good for a lot of things and it's really refreshing. So yeah, that's basically everything. So hopefully there were some things that gave you ideas in this video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, bye.